Well, we're back here in the GabLocal.tv studios picking up our conversation on The Drunkard. We've got Karen Hastings and Phil Grecian here. Um, Phil, before we went to break, uh, we were talking a little bit how the shows came together from Ten mm -hmm. Nights in a Bar Room and The Drunkard and, right, and how this right. put together. Now, that was the seed. Dale Easton put this together, and then it took the people to do this, you know? Yeah, he thought it was going to last maybe three performances. Really? Right. That's, really. that's right. And and he had <laughs> these people. Don Doral was the first original drunkard. He uh, taught at Topeka West. Mm -hmm. and Don he, taught at Topeka West. Yeah. And he was my mentor at Topeka West. He was mm -hmm. an incredible actor also. And Don yeah. had, when he played the drunkard, Don had these square eyebrows he'd paint on. So after Don was gone, that became a tradition. I, I still wear square eyebrows when I wow, play Joe right? Morgan. Cool. Uh, and Dale was playing Frank, the bartender's son, mm -hmm. who was no longer in the show. He wrote Frank out after a while. Hmm. But he pulled these people together, some of his old-time civic theater actors at the time. They did it at the fairgrounds. People just kept coming. Mm -hmm. And Dale decided, okay, wait a minute, let's, let's stop a minute. So he stopped and they thought about it and he talked to the civic board and they decided, okay, fine. So they restarted it a few weeks later and it just kept going mm -hmm. every Saturday night at the fairgrounds. Wow. It's different every time. Yeah. I mean, you, the, the actors switch parts. That's the best way to learn repertory mm -hmm. uh, because you could, uh, sometimes we didn't even know mm -hmm. when we would come in what we were going to do right. in the Oleo, at the vaudeville, and what we were, what part, because we would play several different parts and sometimes we wouldn't even know. So such and such happened to so and so. So you will be playing yeah. Mahitable yeah, tonight. Yeah. You'll it's be playing a Mrs. Difference. Morgan. It's a change in the way you know theater live performances are mm -hmm. today, where everything is so scripted and mm -hmm. everything is so. Where wouldn't it be more interesting to be doing a show where you get to do something different when you go there? You well, know, a maybe? lot of it's scripted anyway. Even the ad libs yeah. are often scripted. But the well, away from the scripting though, just like changing the roles, yeah. or doing mm -hmm. like the doing those activities, whereas the the way it is now, they don't do that. Like no. there's there's none of that no. play, or there's nothing that keeps it interesting. For like, instance, uh, that matter. Lawrence Olivier and the guy who played Iago in Othello, they mm -hmm. used to switch back and forth. Right. Uh -huh. But but that's what I'm saying about the talent it takes, mm -hmm. really, to do the drunkard, mm -hmm. is people kind of dismiss it as, oh well, you know, it's just kind of silly. Well, no, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, uh, th there's a lot of switching of roles once you get the hang of it, mm -hmm. once you really get the idea of it and the mm -hmm. learn about the style mm -hmm. of it, and then, then you... And then mixing the pieces around, around too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and so it's, it a, keeps it, it's a real challenge, but it's fascinating. And it's it a is living, breathing production. I mean, and we're yeah. never the same. And yeah. back in those days, you'd come in yeah. on a Saturday, and you'd look to see what you were doing in the Oleo, particularly the crossovers right. and blackouts, because mm -hmm. right. you didn't know. Mm -hmm. And you'd say, well, I'm, I'm doing Throwing Peanuts in the Park, have you done that before? Tell me what the lines Tell are. Tell me real what quick. the lines are, and then, yeah, you, the, then you'd be ready exactly. for it. Yeah. And a good example too is our dear friend Marilyn Schreffler, who was yeah. in the show, played Little Mary, played you know, played several things, and she turned mm -hmm. up the wrong weekend one day, mm. and oh, no. she was and right. she, somebody else was doing Little Mary at that point. Uh -huh. So Marilyn had this idea, and she went to Dale, and she said, uh, "How about if we do this?" And they got their heads together, and Marilyn created a character named Mrs. Dangerfield. Mrs. And that uh -huh. that night, still... Mrs. Dangerfield's an old lady who comes into the bar looking for her son Rodney, uh -huh. and then pulls him out of the audience eventually. Mm -hmm. That just happened. And yeah. see, Marilyn ended up playing uh, for Hanna Barbera. She wow. played, yeah, she was she olive was, oil. She was wow. olive. No yeah, kidding. She was olive oil no for kidding. Hanna Barbera. But one of the things that Marilyn told me was it, a lot of her ability to to switch characters came from her starting with the drunkard. Mm, wow. Is that, that then she could, you know, it's, it's a mindset. You know, somebody, you say to a lot Popeye's of actors. Popeye's girl was in the drunkard. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> right, right. And, and so it's, it's, it's no big deal. You're, you're gonna play so-and-so. Oh, well, okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's different. What do you think about the audiences over the years? How have they changed, you know? The, are we, you know, uh, like in, in Las Vegas, how they have the no show has to be longer than an hour and mm -hmm. 20 minutes or whatever because they want people to get back to the casinos. Mm -hmm. Entertainment kind of changes <laughs> like that. Do you so, want to take this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should I hide under the desk for safety? 
<laughs> well, you know, one of the things that we were concerned about was, at one point, Karen said, well, there, people are sitting in the theater here for so long. And then we sat down and thought about it. Well, you go to any other theater, it's a dinner theater, they're going to be sitting here at least that long. Mm -hmm. But what you do is the experience changes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're sitting there, you're having some drinks. Okay, then the next experience is dinner. Okay, then the next experience is the show. Okay, then we've got another little pause, and then you've got the oleo in our case, which is about 35 minutes of vaudeville. Yeah. Okay, and uh -huh. audiences are there for that. They, you know, great, this is what I'm here for. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, it's a great experience, really. And see, we think mm -hmm. that the attention span has, has shifted, and undoubtedly it has about many things. Mm -hmm. But the original rule in vaudeville was that no act was to go over two minutes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's still what and that so we all try together, to it's we a different try to try kind show. of yeah, yeah to stick with that. Madam Botch that? usually runs five okay. or six. <laughs> <laughs> Madam Botch because we do that together and we throw in things yeah, to I throw each other. Yeah, uh, yeah. It's, a, it's a beautiful sketch. <laughs> all of those, yeah. Um, so all right. So we we talked a little bit about uh, the roots behind the drunkard. We talked a little bit about some of the people. Um, we're going to do another segment coming up. Uh, we're going to talk about the whole ride, like what it's been like for these guys to be um, sometimes dragged, sometimes being the ones doing the pushing. Like there's so much that goes on to put a show like this together for so many years. We're, we're getting ready for 60 years? How many years are we? 50, 56. 50 years. 56, 56 years. years. 56 years of The Drunkard, um, approaching 900 performances of The Drunkard. Uh -huh. So many things. So uh, don't go away. We've got more coming up right after the break uh, with Phil Grecian and Karen Hastings from Arts Inc. on The Drunkard. Uh, and we're going to probably keep chatting here during the break because uh, we have so much to talk about. <laughs> right. So, yeah. Really, that's true. There is, yeah. That's true. <laughs> if you'd like to sponsor a segment of Talk About Topeka on gablocal.tv, contact us at sales at gablocal.tv.